today's video, I have some super easy beginner friendly Cricut projects. Using Dollar Tree blanks, we are going to create really simple beginner friendly decor covering iron on vinyl, regular vinyl decal. So let's get started. In today's video, I will be using my Cricut Maker and I want to thank Cricut for sponsoring today's video. I'm going to show you lots of budget friendly, easy beginner Cricut DIYs. So starting out, I'm going to show you a few easy beginner DIYs using iron on vinyl. First DIY is this easy and cute modern wash your hand sign. So for this, I'll be using some everyday iron on. It comes in a variety of colors from Cricut. I will be using the black iron on. And as you can see, you can also use iron on on so many more bases than just fabric. For this first project, I'll be using one of these flat canvases from Dollar Tree. And I just took one of the images that was in Cricut Design Space on kind of their homepage. I really liked this wash your hand sign. I thought it was perfect for my bathroom and to remind my five-year-old, well actually now six-year-old, to wash her hands. So I am using this everyday iron-on, like I said, and you always wanna make sure with iron-on vinyl that you place the shiny side down on your mat. And I'm just readjusting to make sure that the piece that I cut is even and on the lines of the grid on the mat so that when I cut it, my image goes through. So I always size my images on the computer and then I usually cut them on my phone. And for iron-on vinyl, you always wanna make sure that you select mirror, because you will be ironing it in kind of mirror image, if that makes sense. So if you don't put mirror and it doesn't cut backwards, it's not going to apply right on your surface. Now, I like to weed my vinyl on the mat. It just makes it so much easier. But one of the reasons why I think iron-on vinyl is such a great vinyl to use, especially for beginners, is that even if you don't weed it on the mat, you can use little fonts like what's in this image and you kind of just take the vinyl away. And I find that the words really adhere well to the base tape and everything just weeds really easy. Iron-on is definitely a go-to for me just because it is so fast when I weed it. Now I will be using my Cricut Easy Press to apply this decal to the canvas, but you can also use an iron, but the Easy Press is just so easy as the name says, right? So I always go to the Cricut Heat Guide. I just Google it, it takes me to the website, and I enter in the type of iron-on vinyl that I'm using, as well as the base, and I use my Easy Press mat for most projects. You can also use a towel. What I love about this is that it tells me the exact temperature to put my Easy Press to, how long I need to have the Easy Press on the project, as well as firm or light pressure, and when to peel, which is so important. Some projects will be Cool peel some projects will be warm peel you really want to make sure that you know what your project the type of peel that it is because that will ensure that the vinyl adheres properly before you remove that top sheet since I will be hanging this sign I decided before I added the decal while this is warming up I took a piece of Dollar Tree faux leather ribbon which I love and some hot glue and a craft stick just to adhere that so I already had that out of the way now it is time to adhere our decal. So I made sure that everything was weeded away and then I centered it first to where I wanted it. And then really easy, I just followed the 340 heat to 30 seconds and pressed down, I think this was a firm press, to make sure that everything adhered right. And sometimes if it's a larger image, a little bit over what my press is, I will go back and make sure that I got everything with the heat press. I really love modern farmhouse decor, so I decided to add these unfinished wood pieces that I had in my craft stash. Just hot glue them to the top and the bottom, and I really feel along with kind of the modern minimal look of this decal, which was found in the Cricut Design Space and the faux leather ribbon. It really put this piece together, and it was so easy to make. Thank you. 
Another great item at Dollar Tree is the pot holders and they come in a two pack and they have a few different sizes and styles found at Dollar Tree. And just a reminder, always make sure that you measure the blank or base that you are using so that you know what to size your design to. The pot holders from Dollar Tree were seven by seven, so I made my images five by five so that they would fit on the pot holder without taking up the whole thing. You always wanna make sure you leave a little bit of space and don't measure the exact length of your piece unless you want the design to go all over that piece. Now a little tip, a flat mitt is much easier to transfer the vinyl. I did not realize until I did this project this evening that I picked this kind of like waffle. Um, texture oven mitt. Um, so it was a little bit difficult to adhere the vinyl to only because the vinyl kind of went in the grooves of the pot holder, but you get the idea. This is what it looks like. It's still super cute, but it also works great on a flat pot holder, which Dollar Tree does carry as well. Now, if you remember me saying there are so many different bases that you can apply iron on vinyl to, one of those being wood. So I took one of these wood plaques from Dollar Tree, cut a decal to size with the same weeding process that we did for our first bathroom sign. And then according to the heat guide instructions, I went ahead and applied this decal. Super easy and this is a great way to layer a wood plaque that you can use some iron on vinyl with, with a piece of decor. This is just a Dollar Tree sign with some florals hot glued and draped over top with some Target Dollar Spot scrapbook paper. Now, a lot of Cricut projects just use a regular vinyl, which is also great for beginners because there's a lot of projects you can do that are not super intricate that are great for beginner level. So as you see, Cricut has a ton of vinyl and I'm gonna show you how to make this really cute and easy decor piece. So for this project, I am taking this Dollar Tree little house shadow box. Dollar Tree signs are perfect bases for Cricut projects. They can easily be painted and you can add a fun detail decal to personalize your decor, which is one of the my favorite things about Cricut. So I went ahead, painted this house in some sage chalk paint, and then I took some black glossy finish vinyl, and I went ahead and cut this again with my phone. I like that I'm able to use my phone. It's just easy. You could plug in a laptop or use a Bluetooth if you have that as well, but I just prefer using my phone. I went ahead, entered vinyl, and let the Cricut Maker do its magic. Something I always like to do if I do not do it previously to cutting out an image is I will cut away the excess vinyl that was not cut even before I go ahead and weed. I keep a little bin in my Cricut cart that has excess vinyl. That way I always have pieces for random projects and it helps me save money on vinyl. Now another tip is to cut away the vinyl a little bit at a time. When you have pieces that have some designs and a lot of wording of different sizes, I like to cut away the vinyl as I weed instead of just taking the excess in one large piece. I find that sometimes if you take it in one large piece and you're not careful, you can actually lift up some of the wording. So I usually cut it about halfway and then I press down as I go, as you see me doing here, to make sure that I have everything weeded away that I want and leaving the words that I want to leave intact. Once everything is done being weeded away, I'm gonna take some Cricut transfer tape. This is just the regular strength one. They do have a stronger one, but this one works great. Um, I usually use Dollar Tree transfer paper, but I really am enjoying this Cricut transfer paper because it's so much easier to lift up all the vinyl. And I also like this larger scraper. You can see the size difference of the one I was using before, and this one just makes adhering everything to the contact paper and then the surface you're transferring it to so much easier. So once the contact paper is on, I just lift everything carefully, making sure I don't rip anything or create any bubbles. And then it is time to adhere to our piece. Now I let this dry ahead of time, um, but some of my subscribers did mention that adding a layer of Mod Podge before adding the vinyl will help with paint chipping. And can I just add, I love when my subscribers always give me great tips because I am definitely not a pro, so I appreciate that. And that is definitely a tip I will keep 
in future projects. So once I transferred this, I just made sure I scraped over everything. Again, this larger scraper does make it so much easier. It's less times you have to go over the vinyl. And then as I weed away or take away the vinyl, I always make sure I start at a corner. And then as I go, I either take the scraper or my finger to kind of press down on the wording to make sure that everything goes down on the surface and does not stay on the contact paper. And that is it for this super easy beginner friendly dollar tree cricket project. Another fun Dollar Tree base that you might look over for Cricut projects is this white butter tray from Dollar Tree. So we are going to add this fun cow design to the top part of this butter dish. I thought it would just be fun and very fitting for a butter dish. So went ahead, measured and cut this to size and then you just weed away the excess. I did not keep this one on the mat since it was tiny and didn't require a ton of weeding. I do like to leave projects that require more weeding on the mat, personal preference, but for small ones like this, I definitely can get away with not leaving it on there. Once that was weeded, I just wanted to double check that this fits and we are going to add this to the front top part of our butter dish. I seriously thought this was so cute and I love that you can get great bases for Cricut projects at Dollar Tree like this and you can spruce them up. They're great as housewarming gifts or in your own home and they take no time at all to make. Also, when you're practicing and you are a beginner at Cricut, it's great to use budget-friendly bases like this. So in case you mess up, you don't feel like you wasted a ton of money. Now, I also like to add wood pieces to my projects like this. So I hot glued this little topper and how cute is this butter dish? Another great base for an easy beginner friendly Cricut project are these cutting boards. Now I went ahead and measured a cow, a fish, and the word veggies. I thought these would be so fun as an easy and quick project. Now I will say the surface of these is not the greatest for adhering vinyl, but to make these usable and hand washable, I went ahead after I applied all of the vinyl. I did not um, film this part. I did add some dis dish washer, there we go, safe Mod Podge, and that's gonna help seal it anyway, which you want so it protects it for future hand washing. I would not put these in the dishwasher, but these are great decoratively, or if you're gonna use them for light projects, or not light projects, like cooking, there we go. Use some of this Mod Podge dishwasher safe gloss just to seal the vinyl. And this is what the decals look like, super quick and easy on these Dollar Tree cutting boards. I love the size of these, and they are so fun with the Cricut personalized touch. Dollar Tree also sells these galvanized signs, so I thought it would be cute to make signs for both of my girls' rooms. Me and my sister always had our names and signs on our bedroom doors, so I thought, why not make my own for my girls? So again, really easy. It's just taking a design or wording that you want, weeding away the excess, putting it on your transfer tape, and then moving it to whatever base you have. And then I just hot glued this cute little bow that I made. I'm not the greatest bow maker, but that's okay. This is a Cricut video, right? Not a bow video. And I did this for both. And again, I love that I can find budget-friendly bases. I can take my Cricut, I can personalize, and these are projects that any beginner Cricut user can easily make in no time while saving money. I hope you found this budget-friendly Cricut beginner video using Dollar Tree items helpful. Let me know if you love your Cricut as much as I do and if you enjoyed any of these projects. I always love to know what is your favorite. I will have a playlist down below of some of my recent Cricut videos, so in case you want more Cricut content, it will be down in the description box below. As always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.